Ah, do you ever get muscle cramps when you're working out? In the winter times, it's less likely that you're gonna have them, but muscle cramps are something that people endure when they do workouts or when they push themselves to the limits. A couple things of why it's happening is it could be dehydration. You could have an electrolyte imbalance or maybe you're going too hard in your workouts. Now what I wanna do is break down each one of these sections for you so that if you ever get a muscle cramp, we can help you work through it or we can prevent one from actually happening. Now the first and probably the most prevalent reason why you're getting muscle cramps is that you're dehydrated. So make sure that you're chugging enough water, especially if you're pushing through workouts. You gotta remember that between muscles and when you work out and when you move, the muscles are basically moving on top of one another. The water provides a lubricant between the muscles and your joints so that they don't create friction and create more damage or create muscle cramps. So if you're not prehydrated, meaning if you weren't drinking enough fluids to the point of your activity, then you could have all this friction when you're working out and eventually you're gonna create a fire, which is a basic muscle cramp. Now, if you feel like you're thirsty and if you're thirsty when you're working out, that means that you're already dehydrated. So don't get yourself to a point of dehydration. Always be prehydrated prior to your workouts. If you're taking supplements, if you're drinking coffee, if you're even eating food, all of those things require hydration or liquids in order for it to properly digest. For every gram of carb that you have, you have to make sure that you're balancing that out with enough fluids for it to actually process through your body. The same thing goes for proteins and fats. Water is so important. I know it's boring and we know that it's important to drink more. So a tip for you to drink more fluids is to find something that tastes great that you can sweeten it with. Now, a lot of people say, well, they have sweeteners in them. Who cares? The research out there shows that it's safe to consume this. Now, should you be eat, drinking four to six liters of diet pop every single day? No, but could you have two to three scoops of greens or EAAs which help with your muscle recovery a day just so that you can put down an extra one to two liters of fluids so you don't have any muscle cramping so that your muscles can actually grow properly and so that you never get into a state of dehydration 100%. Another thing is that you could have an electrolyte imbalance. I know in the summertime, especially this summer when May was intense with the sun and I went from zero sunlight to massive amounts of sunlight and hot, hot, hot days where I was sweating, sweating, sweating. And you'll notice on your clothes that you're gonna see stain lines. Now the stain lines that you're looking at is more than likely sodium. And when you sweat, you release sodium and you release potassium. And so we have to keep in mind that drinking water is the very base level of what you're doing, but after that, you have to replenish those electrolytes. So you need potassium, calcium, or magnesium. And so when you're engaging in physical activity, and especially if you sweat lots, and there's people that sweat way more than everybody else, and I know this because they're often wiping down their equipment after they use it at the gym, or if they're outside and they're working out and they see sweat lines on their shirt, that's more than likely due to a sodium release. And so as soon as your body gets in balance with that, that's when things start to malfunction and create muscle cramps. And so what can you do to prevent that? Well, a preventative measure is to make sure that you're hydrated, but then you can also buy supplements like the EAAs that we have at the gym that have electrolytes in them. Now, if you don't wanna go that route and you wanna do it the more natural route, pre or post workout, you can have yourself a banana and you can even consider adding a little pinch of salt to your water. I'm not saying grab a handful and throw it, I'm taking about a little pinch of salt into your water and then this way you're always replenishing what you lose because you remember, your body always wants to stay in equilibrium. It never wants to be too hydrated and it definitely doesn't wanna be under hydrated. So if you can find that perfect float where you're just a little bit more hydrated and your sodium and potassium levels are a little bit higher, then you're always winning. To get potassium, you can have orange juice. You can actually add orange juice into your water or you can have a banana throughout the day or post-workout. So you always wanna make sure that you're hydrated and that your electrolytes are always elevated, especially pre and post-workout. So there we have it, the two most common reasons why you're probably getting muscle cramps at the gym. 
Now, I love that people push themselves to the end, but we always want to make sure that we're treating ourselves like a pro athlete. A pro athlete would make sure that they're prehydrated, post hydrated, and that they're getting the proper nutrients in their body, such as bananas, oranges, adding just pinches of salt to their fluids, or adding things like EAAs that have the infused electrolytes to make sure that our body is always in equilibrium. So the next time that you go work out, make sure that you're either having a banana as a pre-workout snack, or if you're intermittent fasted, then you wanna add a little bit of sodium to your water, or you can add the EAAs. And by doing so, you're gonna make sure that you never get a muscle cramp because muscle cramps could turn to injuries, and injuries could turn to you taking time off the gym, and none of us want that. Now, if you're looking for more advice like this and you want crazier health tips, I put together tons of videos. Go to our main channel, Fit Club Winnipeg. Make sure you hit the like on this video and subscribe to our channel because we're posting new videos all the time that are going to help you get 1% better every single day.